Welcome to She Has No Idea What She's Doing, the bonus series to our main podcast, I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. This bonus series profiles other exciting East African women entrepreneurs who, like all of us, are just trying to figure it out. In this episode, I spoke with Doreen Pitanani, the founder and CEO of 102.5 Lake FM in Wanza, Tanzania. Doreen is a powerhouse and the only woman in East Africa to own a radio station. Doreen studied in Kenya and the UK, but she always knew that she wanted to move back to Tanzania to start her own station. When we talked earlier this year, she told me how a chance encounter with Patrick Berry, who's the founder of Choice FM station in the UK, changed her life. Like I finished having a meeting with my friend and she, he was her next appointment. And I met this gentleman and I had a five minute conversation with him. And he turned out to be the founder and uh, one of the founders of Choice FM, the first black radio station in the UK. So when I was talking to him, obviously he asked my name and where I was from and um, what I was going to do back home. So I told him, I want to go back home and start my own TV production house, which I did, mm-hmm. and or rather I have. And then I told him as well, I want to um, I want to start a TV station eventually. And he said, no, don't do TV, open a radio station. I said, why? He told me, um, because the reach is bigger, especially in Africa, it's cheaper to invest in, it's easier to make content, and the return on investment is quicker, and I'll show you how, I'll teach you how to run your radio station. So this man has over 20 years experience in radio, and he's my mentor, and I literally, within less than five minutes conversation, I said, okay. But things didn't go as planned. When Doreen returned to Dar es Salaam, she found out that the government was no longer handing out radio frequencies in the city. So this cosmopolitan girl quickly realized that she would have to leave the big city if she ever wanted to make it in the radio industry. Looking like looking at Tanzania, um, the best next alternative was the Doma in Mwanza because they're also they're big. One is a lot of young people. The Doma is a city that has I think two big universities. Mwanza has a bunch of universities as well. So when we looked, when we looked like at the population and we looked at the, the like how fast the cities are growing, and the fact that I'm from my parents, my pa- my father is from Mwanza, so that's technically home. So we decided the best thing for us to do was to invest in our hometown with my parents. And, you know, people thought I was crazy going to Mwanza. It's a very developed city. But, you know, when you think about if you don't travel outside the city, Dar es Salaam, you have this perception of how things are so behind in other cities, which is not the case. Mwanza is going to be East Africa's hub in the next few years, hopefully, a year or two, you know, because they're building an international airport there. They're building a new city. So there's all these things that are going to be able to connect East African countries there. And we have the lake as well. So mm-hmm. there's so many business opportunities. Like, I'm like, oh, snap. Like, I actually invested in this region at the right time because in five years' time, this city is not going to be the same and I'm going to be here. So I, I want to go with it. I was like, okay, this was a great move at the end of the day because of, of that. Through intense marketing and community outreach to low-income markets, Lake FM has become the third most popular radio station in the region. As someone who's also in the media industry, what I really appreciate about Doreen is how mindful she is of her audience, which is lower-income youth. She told me why this demographic is actually where the money is. We're a radio station that serves to empower the lower-earning income communities in Mwanza, like the like the fishermen, the women food vendors, the the bus drivers, the border border drivers, those are our people. That's the demographic that runs the world or Africa because they're the majority. And my dad always said, like, and I think about it every day, you want to become a millionaire? Okay, there's two ways to go about it. Sell one thing to one person for a million shillings or sell one thing to a million people. And I'm like, I'm going to sell to a million people for one shilling. That is how I'm going, whatever it is that I venture into, that is going to be my approach. One shilling for a million people. And that's how you become a millionaire. Doreen is constantly cultivating her audience and growing her knowledge. That never stops. And despite being one of the few female media owners in Tanzania, she isn't shy to reach out and ask for help. Then I took the initiative to introduce myself to other media owners. I like our LinkedIn email or if I know somebody that knows somebody, I'm like, hey, I want to meet that guy, introduce me. So they introduce me, I have a drink with them. Now they're my friends. The media owners here in Tanzania, I know them, they know me, they're like, ah. 
our child, our daughter, or our sister. We need to support her, whatever, whatever. And when I'm stuck, or if I don't know something, that's the thing about me. I'm not afraid to ask. I ask. I ask so many questions, and I'm not afraid to not know. Because that's also, I've noticed a lot of young people want to look like they know everything. Whereas I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I even saw my team. I don't know everything. So don't think you can come to me with answers. Mm -hmm. Before you come to me with a problem, thinking if you come to me with an answer, find a solution yourself. Come with a problem, but with solutions. Then we can sit and brainstorm and decide the best solution for this problem together. Not just me deciding alone, you know, because the business is not the real. The business is a, it's a team. Lake FM is made or has gotten to where it is because of a team and not just my own efforts. That is really great advice. Thank you, Doreen. You can listen to the Lake FM radio station wherever you are at www.lakefm.com. And don't forget to tune into the next episode of I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. I'm Paula Rogo. Until next time. <laughs>